This is the AUG Synth MIDI controller with the Motion Synth Grip. It's a new kind of musical instrument for the information age. I'm gonna try it out for a week and let you know what I think. It's basically a MIDI controller app for your iPhone and there are a lot of them out there. But what sets the AUG synth apart is that it allows you to play in a more expressive and physical way using the accelerometer in your phone as a controller for different synth sounds and effects. It not only incorporates motion and orientation as a MIDI trigger to play sounds, but it also incorporates video, which you can interact with and becomes an extension of the performance. The AUG synth and the grip is not a new product and gained popularity on Kickstarter back in 2013. The AUG Motion Synth is a free app for the iPhone, which you can configure to play different preset sounds using the touchscreen synthesizer. When you first get the app, it only works as a single key synth. But for an additional cost, you can purchase the stylish Motion Synth Grip, which comes with a code to unlock the full multi-key version of the app. The Motion Synth Grip allows you to more easily reach the keyboard on your phone screen to play the different notes with one hand. The Motion Synth Grip feels very sturdy, except for the little piece of plastic that you slide your phone inside of. I'm just afraid it's gonna get warped, or these little teeth on the back are gonna get broken off. It is comfortable to wear, but it does take some getting used to and adjustment at first. There are a few different models of the Motion Synth Grip on the AUG website, which fit different models of the iPhone. I purchased the Motion Synth Grip Model 2, which is compatible with the iPhone 6, 6S, 7, 8, and the SE. Now I own the iPhone SE, and let me tell you, this Motion Synth Grip was not cheap. It costs $105 plus shipping. Keep in mind that purchasing the grip unlocks the full multi-key version of the AUG Synth app. It opens doors to a whole new way of controlling synthesizers and MIDI controlled devices wirelessly. No more USB MIDI connections, although you can hardwire your phone to a laptop or a MIDI controller to use the AUG Synth. So let's go through the basic functionality of the AUG Synth. When you first turn on the app, you will get a pre-canned single key version of Symphony No. 5, the first movement that you can easily tap to perform. Each tap plays a note in the sequence that is looped so you can get a sense for the feel and timing of the synthesizer. To use the multi-key synth, you need to turn off the single key MIDI note sequence under the motion tab in settings and choose a preset sound that includes motion to sound. To use motion to control sound, there are three basic movements that drive and change the synth. Motion to sound controls the note's volume by physically moving your phone back and forth like a bow on a violin. Think of this as strumming your instrument. As you hold the note on the screen and move your hand, the notes will sustain. Turning your wrist and forearm will build your note's intensity. And you can play different octaves of a note by changing the orientation of your phone. Holding the screen perpendicular with the floor will play the root note. Pointing the screen up at the ceiling will play an octave higher and pointing your screen down to the floor will play an octave below the root note. If you click the settings button, you'll find the notes tab, which allows you to configure the scale of the notes of the synth, and you can change the instrument. Click on the Motion tab and you'll find settings for controlling MIDI signals with motion and orientation, as well as color controls for how the keys light up on the screen. These color settings also control the color of the video if you're connected via MIDI to a visual effects app, which I will get to later in this video. Under the Presets tab is a list of sounds which include motion to sound activation as well as some presets for connecting to third-party apps like Ableton Live, Reactor, and Animoog for iOS. All right, I have the AUG Synth connected via Wi-Fi to Ableton Live, and I'm just gonna demonstrate this demo that you could download on the AUG Synth Wiki page. So we're just gonna try it out and see how it works. So you see, whichever way I'm facing will change the drum beat for a second. So I'm turning my hand to the side. Now I activated a bass line. Now if I hit one of these buttons right here, 
This is like eighth notes, so it'll hit like a snare, like doing a snare roll. Watch. I just got 7,000 steps. <laughs> The Aug Synth is not just for controlling MIDI devices like synthesizers and drum machines. You can manipulate video in real time using coding apps like Processing and Max 8. You can create patches which marry the MIDI and the video as you perform your piece of music. I was able to get this flower patch demonstration to work in a program called Max 8 which I found on the Aug Synth wiki page. I'm not gonna lie, figuring out how to manipulate video with a MIDI signal coming from my iPhone over a wireless network connection was not easy. It took me a long time to get it working with video and sound and a low latency, but in the end, it was worth it. The video basically plays in forward and reverse. The flower opens as you play notes and move the accelerometer. But at the same time, you can change the color of the image by tilting the phone up or down. All of these color parameters are adjustable in the AUG app under the Motion tab, as I mentioned earlier in this video. The visual possibilities are endless, as you can see from this collection of sketches created with the coding app Processing. The Processing app is free, and there's a massive community of coders on there creating incredible visuals, video games, and all sorts of cool stuff. You can check out the Processing Coding app at processing.org and the coding and patching app Max8 at cycling74.com. I'll leave a link to both of these communities in the description of this video. Now, I don't think this is gonna replace the showmanship or the virtuosity of let's say like an Eddie Van Halen, Les Claypool, Neil Peart, or even Liberace, but who knows? Music continues to evolve forward and so does the technology we use to produce and record music. So here's my first impression of the AUG synth and the grip after playing around with it and troubleshooting it for a week. This concept is very cool. I think it could be the future of electronic music and live visual performance. But right now, to me, it doesn't feel completely finished. The app is very basic. The settings interface looks very dated like a blast of the past Apple iOS. The functionality is good. I was able to easily connect a MIDI signal from my phone over a wireless connection in my house to my MacBook Pro. The AUG synth also allows for connecting MIDI signals over Bluetooth if you don't have an internet connection. Some of the information on the AUG synth wiki page is out of date and led me down a rabbit hole to nowhere. And I'm gonna be honest, the Motion Synth grip does not feel like a $105 accessory. It could be more in the $50 range, along with the full multi-key version of the AUG Synth app. All the power of the AUG Synth lies in its MIDI capabilities and the utilization of the accelerometers in your phone to change the characteristics of a MIDI signal in synthesized instrument. Interfacing with visual apps is an added bonus, even though it took me forever to figure it out. But in the end, I did have a lot of fun jamming and playing with the AUG Synth. It made me move and dance while I was trying to figure out how to improvise synth parts, and my son kept begging me to play with it so that he could have a little cameo in this video and show off his skills. So it definitely does interest the digital natives who will evolve music into the future. Check out the description for links to the AUG synth and leave a comment if you've seen any futuristic instruments or MIDI controllers that you think CNET should try out. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more videos from CNET's massive YouTube channel Thanks for watching and bye for now.